Today, I'm at Jack Dex Racing. This is the man himself, Jack Dex. The left of me is Matt Grant. The reason we're here today is because we're gonna be sticking this Formula A Maxter on this car. And what makes it special is we're not just putting this on it, we're gonna put Jack's Senior OK on the same car. And it's gonna be one of the most, I think it's gonna be the beastliest car in the country, if not Europe, maybe the world, I don't know. But you know, this is what it's about, isn't it, mate? Yeah, love it. Love it. Never one of your crazy ideas. But it's, uh, it should be pretty cool. Not as crazy as the road taps, though. A lot more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's crack on. I'm gonna we're gonna jump straight into it. We're gonna go through maybe some of the issues that we've got to find because we've got a donor chassis. And uh, right, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. I don't know why we're doing it. <laughs> to be honest with you, Jack. Um, so. The big question is why, why are we building a twin Formula 8 and OK? Um, I guess because why not is, is the best answer. I think it's a kind of a cool idea. Um, I don't think anyone else has done it in the world yet. Um, I guess it, it, at this point I want to say the biggest inspiration for this whole project to the sort of Australians and the guys in New Zealand who race open and a lot of those guys build twin hundreds, twin KF1s, um, Mark Elder, who raced in F100 back in 2010, 2011, with us at Rye House, he built a twin Formula A, um, and he, he races in New Zealand, and he, he actually built one here, which we went to go and watch uh, years ago at PF. Uh, you'll see that on screen now, but you've also got Matt Hamilton, who built a KZ with a Formula A on the same car. You, if you look it up on YouTube, it's the most frightening thing I've ever seen in my life. And then if we go to Canada, um, Jack will remember, I think he's on his phone, but loving this. Uh, you remember the BRC 150, right? Yeah, fantastic bit of kit. Yeah. Well, when it was working, yeah. When it was working, yeah, because I didn't put something in the exhaust, the exhaust sensor, and he went a bit lean and it seized. That wasn't my fault. It was just an accident. And uh, it was a shame because that thing like had 45 to 50 horsepower. But over there, you'll see it on screen now, Riley, who's like this absolute maniac, he, he builds the engine. He put two on a cart and he has, I think it's dual carbs on both, runs it on methanol and he's like 115 horsepower. So that thing is, the, uh, is probably the most powerful twin cart in the world. <laughs> To be honest with you, I don't think we're going to be that far off in speed. Um, it's just going to be trying to figure out how to match the power characteristics of a Formula A where it hasn't got a rev limiter with the OK, which does have a rev limiter. So that kind of is a bit of a spanner in the works with regard to how you gear the thing. Um, but yeah, I want to do it. And I think we all want to do it, don't we? Because it's just, it's just fucking cool, <laughs> isn't it? We all bought a bit. I've seen enough road taxes in X30s over the last three years to think, right, boys, we need something a bit, a bit mad. So, yeah. Um, what else? What is else? this? Is well, this is the announcement video. So there's not much detail at the moment, other than just to say this is what we want to do. Um, you know, Jack Dex is he's supplying the car. He's 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 doing. Uh, you know. Without him, this project ain't possible, and it's the same for, for Matt Grant as well, who's the fabricator. So, yeah, it's a passion project, and I think it's going to be absolute lunacy when we see this thing out on track. So, if you make sure you subscribe to the channel and all that bollocks to keep updated with how the build's going. And uh, my arm's getting tired now, so I'm going to stop this lark. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some issues that we're going to have to figure out. What are those going to be? First one's the lack of. Uh place to mount the engine I suppose on the left hand side uh, so we're gonna have to definitely add in a second rail to get the engine mount on um, that's gonna wipe out the seat stay here I guess so we're gonna have to remake that um, brake brakes because your engine's gonna go there the brakes got to move so you even need to come up with a center mount or mount it to the, to the third bearing would be uh, another idea. I know a few, I know you think um, Mark Elder does in New Zealand. He has, he, I think he mounts his rear brake on the third bearing, so that's another thing. And then obviously with both engines being water-cooled, you've got the, uh, the issue of 
cooling them and for packaging the radiators and the water pumps and everything else you need. But uh, maybe the Rotax rad and an internal water pump has got to be the solution there, potentially. Could be an option, yeah. yeah. Um, How much horsepower are we looking at here? What, 40 or just over 40 for the OK, and then what's that, 30? I'd probably say, I'd, I'd say you're doing worth your 28. So I would say enough, yeah. What's it going to be, 40? I'd say, let's say 44 for the OK. So s just over 70, I'd say. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not and too we're going to be doing front brakes. Um, yeah, front brakes on the hand, because I think that'll be easier. Just have a, like we used to use abroad, just the, f the front brakes on the, on the lever there. That'll be easy to fit, that bit's not a problem. Your main, your main issue is going to be packaging, getting the seat and having enough room to mount this inboard engine here. But I think with an off-centre mount here, chop the seat stays off, the seat will then sit more central in the car and you might just package an AK on that side. Soon find out. Have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, nothing like this, no. No. The X30 is the fastest I've been in, so... Yeah, this is going to... Uh, Driven a twin engine pro car, it's about the same, isn't it? Twin engine pro twin car, they're quick though, isn't they? That's yeah, two engines on the same car. Yeah, it's so fast. I have seen a twin pro car 2km, which I think is the benchmark that we need to aim for in terms of speed and power and... A twin 2km, that must be about the same speed as what, an X30? Um, maybe. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure you check out all the links below. Subscribe, all that malarkey. And uh, yeah, check back soon. We'll have something a bit more solid to start having a look at. And hopefully we'll get on the track as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye to the, everybody that's watching. Bye. That's it. That's it. See? See? That's what it's about.